Many woodworkers worldwide will be aware of the outstanding furniture designs of the British designer maker Alan Peters, who sadly died in 2009. In celebration of his memory and to foster his legacy, a prestigious award has been set up for young furniture making talent in the British Isles. This annual award has been initiated by Jason Heap, the director of the Celebration of Craftsmanship and Design exhibition, uh, Jason himself being an award-winning designer maker. The Alan Peters Award for Excellence is now established at the Cheltenham exhibitions each year, whereby up to three newly established designer makers under 30 years of age win free exhibition space and get to show their furniture alongside Britain's top professionals and with an opportunity to network with them. Alan Peters was a direct link with the English Arts and Crafts movement, having apprenticed to Edward Barnsley. He set up his own workshop in 1962. He not only expressed the virtues of truth to material, respecting the way timber behaves over time, but through his career and travels to the East in particular, he achieved great visual simplicity in his timeless designs, moving the best of tradition on. He was also a highly encouraging teacher, and whilst those who met him would recall he always stroked the wood as he talked, there was hardly a person who had met him who had not been touched by his generosity and direct honesty. I had the privilege of knowing Alan well, exhibiting alongside him over several decades and indeed he helped me greatly in my own furniture making career. I'm honoured to be involved with this award as a judge alongside Keith Newton who was an early apprentice of Alan's and also Jason Heap. Now the purpose of this video is both to promote the award in advance of the application deadline but also offer basic guidelines for anyone eligible to enter. As we judge the entries on photographic evidence alone, it's very important that the best photographs are submitted to us. It's not so much a fancy photographic setting, uh, although a plain backdrop is preferred, but it's photographs that tell us what we need to know. Apart from the general shots from different angles, we need close-ups of important constructional details taken in good light and the correct exposure. If, for instance, an entry is a chair design, we need to arrive at a decision regarding the chair's likely comfort and strength. And this is just from a photograph, so it's imperative that one of the shots is a direct side profile. Uh, we can't just take your word for it that it's comfortable. Also, the kind of detail we're looking for, and in which Alan indeed would have looked for, is the quality of construction that's hidden. Uh, such as underneath or behind the piece. Uh, a good example in Alan's work was the stout reinforcement of edge jointing boards not relying on glue alone. The choice of materials and balance between hand skill processes and computer controlled machining is of course a consideration but the emphasis has to be on a high degree of hand skill but of course Alan Peters embrace machines as we all do. Perhaps the words of the pioneer of the arts and crafts movement William Morris still hold true. Let us be masters of machines not their slaves. As judges we are looking for innovation and that's something Alan Peters would have really encouraged and a good overall mix of excellence in craftsmanship uh, with the piece saying something new. What is very important, and part of my request that you share this video with anyone you feel might be eligible and interested in applying for the award, is to plan well in advance for the application deadlines. If you miss the deadline this year, there's always next year. And last but not least, please read the application form carefully. And good luck in joining some outstanding past winners. Um, we were just talking earlier about the, the dovetails on your back. I just noticed that um, 
that sort of thing should have run through, the side should have run through at the bottom there. Um, and he's, he's just chopped it off um, a bit too much. But it's, this is the first piece that he's done. Um, and you know, these sort of things you'll learn. Um, one of the things that originally inspired me to get involved with furniture making was coming across seeing dovetail drawers on, on designer makers websites and seeing the, the beauty of timber and then the honesty of the craftsmanship as the dovetails join in with the contrast in timber and just thinking wow that you can see the care that's been taken but also the, the natural figure of the timber just being allowed to speak really and, and it's that uh, creativity married with the, with the practical processes of, of cutting a dovetail joint that, that got me excited about wanting to have a go and, and get involved with furniture making basically.